In King David's time, the Ark of the Covenant, which was a great golden chest that held the Ten Commandments and acted as a reminder that God was always with the Israelites, had been stolen by the Philistines. King David gathered all his soldiers and all the people of Israel to rescue the Ark of the Covenant from the enemy hands. As they returned to Jerusalem, the great crowd of people danced with joy and sang songs of praise to God. Years after bringing the Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem, God gave King David peace from all his enemies. In amazement of all that the Lord had done for him, King David decided to build the Lord a temple. But because King David had been a man of war, God came to the prophet Nathan and told him that King David would not be the one to build this amazing temple. Instead, God said that King David's son Solomon would build him a temple and that God would make King David's family famous forever. As King David came to the end of his life, he helped Solomon to get ready to build the temple. King David had huge ships bring logs of cedar wood from faraway lands, and he had tons of stone carved from distant mountains brought to Jerusalem. He ordered iron and more bronze than could be weighed to make nails and other fittings for the great temple. King David gathered the leaders of Israel together and told them to support Solomon so he would be successful in this great task. For more than seven years, Solomon embarked upon the great work of building the temple. When it was finished, it stood four stories tall and 90 feet long. The interior of the building was completely covered in cedar wood, decorated with beautiful carvings of fruit and open flowers. The walls of the room where the Ark of the Covenant would be placed were covered in pure gold. Not a single surface of the temple was without decoration. It was a magnificent sight. When the temple was finished, Solomon completed his father's vision and had the Ark of the Covenant brought into the temple. As Solomon and the elders of Israel watched, a parade of priests carried the Ark into the temple. Once it had been placed in the special room, a great cloud appeared as the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The cloud was so thick, the priests could not perform their work. Everyone in Israel had gathered for the occasion. After seeing the glory of the Lord fill the temple, Solomon prayed to God, praising his glory and faithfulness. Solomon prayed that God's people would follow God's word and purposes. Once Solomon had finished praying and blessing everyone there, the people celebrated the incredible work that had been done. The temple had been built, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Once the temple was built, the Lord appeared to Solomon. The Lord said, I have made this temple you built holy by putting my name on it forever. God told Solomon that if he followed him faithfully, as his father David had, his royal family would have no end. God's challenge to Solomon is for all of us. Follow God faithfully.